Okay, we're looking at the vertebra right here. So this is thoracic, a little bit of thoracic and a little, little bit of lumbar vertebra. So as we look at the vertebrae, what we can see is we can see that the anterior portion here, and we have a uh, posterior portion back here. So all of this anterior portion is the body of the vertebra. So if I take, let's get a good lumbar vertebra here. So if you look at the anterior portion of this vertebra right here, this is the body. This is the body of the vertebra, vertebra itself. This is all anterior, all anterior. Then the posterior portion is from here, the pedicles, these two little pedicles, right here, right here, and back, back. So the posterior section of the vertebra, we have the pedicles right here, two pedicles. And then if you follow the pedicles back on both sides, on both sides, you come to what's called a transverse process. It's a transverse process, transverse process. So there is a right and left. You have to distinguish between the right and left. So right, uh, pedicles, transverse process. Then if we follow the transverse processes back, we see these two structures here, there, and there. These are called the lamina, the lamina. Okay, lamina means tongues. So these are the tongues of the vertebra. The two lamina come together and they make the spinous process, the spinous process itself. Here you look at it from a sideways view, a lateral view, you can see the pedicle right here, pedicle, the lamina here, turning into the spinous process. So now the pedicle, the lamina, and the body together combined they make this hole. They make this hole right here. Okay, this is the vertebral foramen. This is where your spinal cord actually sits. Okay, the vertebral foramen. So the lamina, they make the posterior aspect of the vertebral canal. The body makes the anterior, and the pedicles make the lateral aspects of the canal. Now, if you take two vertebrae and we put them together. So you put one vertebrae on top of the other, like so, like so, you get a nice little hole right here. See this hole right here. This is called the intervertebral foramen, and this is where the spinal nerve actually exits, actually exits the spinal cord. So intervertebral foramen. It can only be seen when you have two, two vertebrae stuck together. Now, the next thing you're going to have to be able to do is you're going to have to be able to distinguish is it a, is it a lumbar vertebrae, is it a thoracic vertebrae, or is it a, a cervical vertebrae. And the easiest way to do it is look at the size for one. Lumbar vertebrae are very large, very, very large. And I always look at the spinous processes, spinous processes. So the, the spinous processes of a lumbar vertebrae are pretty broad pretty broad and they stick pretty much straight outwards, straight outwards themselves. Another thing you can do is you can look at these structures right here. You're not required to know them, but they're called the superior articular facets and they usually point more inwards. You can see the joint here, the joints here, they point inwards. So this is a lumbar. This is a typical lumbar vertebra. Now if we look at a spinal, sorry, a thoracic, a thoracic vertebrae, again, we look at the spinous process itself. This spinous process pretty much points downward. It's got a nice downward angle as well. And it's typically smaller, typically smaller than the lumbar vertebra. But the spinous process is definitely your way to go when you do that. It's, it's, it points downwards. It's rather, rather thin. Another way you can do it is you can look at the superior articular facets right here, up here, these two right here. And they point more posteriorly, the superior articular facets, so which means the joints the joints are arranged in a posterior anterior orientation and it allows you to bend forwards and backwards. And then we have the cervical spine, cervical spine. The two two cervical vertebrae you have to know on site are these guys right here, okay? This is the atlas and this is the axis, okay? So the atlas, if you look at it, it's got all the major structures of the vertebrae itself, but they're they're distorted and they're very small. So this is the anterior portion, and this is the posterior portion here. So the anterior portion, this is the body, okay? 
what we're looking at right here, this is the body of the vertebrae itself. So these two structures right here would be the pedicles. These are our pedicles. Here, back here, these are the lamina. These are the lamina. And then here, this little bump, this little ridge part here, that's the spinous process. That's the spinous process. And again, here, this is our vertebral canal, vertebral foramen. One thing you should will help you distinguish a cervical vertebrae from everything else are these two holes right here and right here. These are the transverse processes of the cervical vertebrae, but they have foramen in them. Okay, these are called transverse foramen. What actually runs through there is the vertebral artery. The vertebral artery runs through the transverse foramen and is what supplies blood to the posterior aspect of the brain because it becomes a basilar artery and it does posterior posterior brain flow. So that's that's the atlas C1, and then the other one you gotta know on site is this one, the axis. Okay, you can tell the axis is because it's got this guy right here. It's got this tooth, this tooth-like projection. Okay, this is called the dens, the dens, and what the dens does is it actually articulates into the front of the atlas, and it allows your head to turn, to rotate, right and left. And this is where most of the rotation of the head goes. Okay. So again, just like uh, just like all the other vertebrae, it's got the cardinal parts. It's got the body, but the body is pretty much the dens here. It's got the pedicles, pedicles, transverse processes with transverse foramen, the lamina, and the body, the body of the cell. So that is the vertebrae. There's not much to it. Okay, actually, one more thing. Here's the sacrum. This is what the sacrum looks like. Okay, this is the sacrum. So the sacrum is a, is five fused bones, five fused bones. You don't have to know any of the structures of the sacrum, just know what it looks like. And then here, this area right here, this is the coccyx. This is the coccyx of the sacrum. Okay. So that's what the sacrum looks like. There's only one, so you don't have to really know right and left of the sacrum. Okay. So that is the vertebrae. There's not much else to it. Uh, so the next, uh, the next video is going to be over the uh, ribs and the sternum.